Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Parks Racing, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania on Tuesday afternoon, August the 20th. This is my day at the track.com thoroughbred race of the day. Let's take a look at race 7 this afternoon, folks. 3.07 p.m. Eastern Post Time. 6 for a long sprint on the dirt track. 3 year rolls and up race for an allowance prize of some $47,000. Contenders number 1, Miami Mako. Number 3, Patrick's. Number four, Steve's Adventures, and number five, Cortado. Number one, Miami Mark Mako takes a class drop of six track master units this afternoon. Has been a power run performer in each of his last three, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his second and third races back. Number three, Patrick Yes, the morning line favorite, has hit the board in three straight with his last two efforts, including a win in his second race back, also qualifying as power runs. Race 7 summary number 1, Miami Mako tops my contenders list today here at Parks which also includes number 3 Patrick S, number 4 Steve's Adventures and number 5 Cortado, 1, 3, 4, 5 in the 7th from Parks. Bonus long shots, Mountaineer Park, Chester, West Virginia race Number eight, number two, Humblestown, six to one on the morning line, takes a class drop of six units, sit the board in power run fashion in two of his last three, including a blistering 15 length power run win at his fourth race back. Presque Isle Downs, Erie, Pennsylvania, race five, number six, yes, it's Persia, four to one shot, qualifies as a Trackmaster plus power pony, drops in class by seven Trackmaster units, the overall speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at or about tonight's distance of five and a half furlongs on Presque Isle's cushion dirt track. So from Parks Racing on a Tuesday, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.